In the world of comedy, Tim Conway stood out as a master of his craft. Born Thomas Daniel Conway on December 15, 1933, in Willoughby, Ohio, he began his journey in the entertainment industry with humble beginnings. After serving in the Army, Conway pursued a career in radio before moving on to television. His breakthrough came when he joined the cast of The Steve Allen Show in the early 1960s. From there, Conway went on to become a regular on The Carol Burnett Show, where he became known for his impeccable comedic timing and unforgettable characters like Mr. Tudball and The Oldest Man. His work earned him four Emmy Awards. Conway also made a successful leap to film, appearing in classics like The Apple Dumpling Gang and Going South. Despite these achievements, he never lost touch with his roots in live performance and continued touring throughout his career. Throughout it all, Tim Conway brought joy and laughter to countless people around the globe. He will always be remembered as one of the greats in the world of comedy. Whether through reruns of his shows or clips online, future generations can still enjoy his timeless humor. Are you familiar with the works of actor Tim Conway? If so, can you recall the first piece of his work you ever saw? Maybe it was on The Carol Burnett Show, where he often left audiences in stitches with his comedic antics. Or perhaps it was in the movie The Apple Dumpling Gang. Whatever the case may be, which of Tim Conway's works holds a special place in your heart? We all have our favorite moments featuring this classic star. Maybe you were lucky enough to see him perform live or even meet him in person. We would love to hear your stories and memories related to Tim Conway. Share them in the comments below. Throughout this video, prepare to discover some surprising facts about Tim Conway. From humorous anecdotes to emotional recollections, get ready to learn more about this beloved entertainer. You might just find out something new about the man behind those unforgettable performances. So stay tuned, because there's much more to come. Tim Conway was born on December 15, 1933, in Willoughby, Ohio. The actor's upbringing was shaped by a modest family background, with his father working as a dry cleaner owner and his mother as a homemaker. Conway's early exposure to the world of entertainment came from his father, who was an avid fan of classic films. This early exposure sparked a lifelong love for comedy and acting in the young Conway. As a student, Conway's natural comedic talent was evident, and he often found himself entertaining his classmates with impromptu performances. After graduating from high school, he attended Bowling Green State University, where he continued to hone his craft. During his time at Bowling Green, Conway became involved in the university's theater program, where he met a mentor who would have a significant impact on his career. This mentor, a theater professor named Steve Cady, recognized Conway's potential and encouraged him to pursue a career in acting. Under Katie's guidance, Conway developed his skills as a comedic actor and began to make a name for himself on the college circuit. After graduating from Bowling Green, Conway moved to New York City to pursue his dream of becoming a professional actor. He struggled to find work at first, but eventually landed a role on The Steve Allen Show. This breakthrough role led to other opportunities, including a recurring role on the popular television show McHale's Navy. Over the years, Conway's career continued to flourish, with the actor appearing in a number of classic films and television shows. His comedic talent and versatility have made him a beloved figure in the entertainment industry, and he continues to inspire new generations of actors and comedians to this day. Tim Conway, an actor well known for his comedic talents, was born on December 15, 1933. Throughout his career, he brought laughter to many through his work in television and film. Conway first gained recognition in the 1960s as a regular cast member on the sketch comedy show The Steve Allen Show. He later joined the ensemble of The Carol Burnett Show, where he became a fan favorite for his hilarious characters and improvisational skills. One of Conway's most memorable characters was the bumbling Mr. Tudball, who appeared in numerous sketches alongside Carol Burnett's Mistress Wiggins. Their comedic chemistry was undeniable, and their skits remain classics to this day. In addition to his work on The Carol Burnett Show, Conway also starred in several films, including The Apple Dumpling Gang and Goin' Coconuts. His ability to bring humor to any situation made him a beloved figure in the entertainment industry. Conway's impact on comedy is still felt today, and his work continues to resonate with audiences of all ages. His talent for making people laugh will never be forgotten. Despite his passing in 2019, his legacy lives on through his classic performances and the joy he brought to countless individuals. As a young boy, Tim Conway was already drawn to the world of entertainment. He loved making people laugh and would often put on shows for his family and friends. His mother, 
patient in a tuberculosis sanitarium, encouraged his creative pursuits. At the age of 16, he enlisted in the Army and was stationed in Seattle, Washington. It was there that he discovered his true calling. During his time in the service, Conway became involved in amateur theater productions. He found immense joy in performing and quickly realized that he had a natural talent for comedy. After leaving the military, he decided to pursue a career in acting. Conway's big break came in 1962 when he joined the cast of The Steve Allen Show. His comedic timing and physical humor were an instant hit with audiences. From then on, Conway's star continued to rise. He went on to appear in numerous TV shows, films, and stage productions. One of Conway's most memorable roles was as Ensign Parker in the classic sitcom McHale's Navy. Despite initial reservations about being typecast as a bumbling character, Conway embraced the role and made it his own. He brought a unique blend of innocence and absurdity to the part, which endeared him to fans around the world. Throughout his illustrious career, Tim Conway has remained dedicated to making people laugh. Whether through his work on television, film, or stage, he continues to delight audiences with his irreverent wit and boundless energy. And while he may have started out as just a kid putting on shows for his family, today he stands as one of America's most beloved comic actors. In 1989, the entertainment industry honored Tim Conway with a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame for his significant contributions to television. Located at 6 740 Hollywood Boulevard in Hollywood, California, this prestigious accolade serves as a testament to his successful career. Coincidentally, both Tim Conway and his frequent collaborator, Don Knotts, found their final resting places in Westwood Cemetery in Los Angeles. Their shared burial spot is a fitting tribute to their memorable on-screen partnership. The actor's car license plate, 13 WKs, alludes to the fleeting nature of many of his individual television projects. Unfortunately, numerous shows he spearheaded were canceled after merely 13 weeks on air. Despite these setbacks, Conway persevered and continued to make his mark in the acting world. Delving further into his professional journey reveals more fascinating insights about this classic comedian. However, those details remain beyond the scope of this particular discussion. Tim Conway, like many aspiring actors, faced numerous obstacles on his journey to stardom. Born Thomas Daniel Conway in 1933, he grew up during the Great Depression, which brought its own set of financial struggles for his family. Despite these hardships, Conway developed a keen sense of humor as a coping mechanism, often making light of difficult situations. As he pursued his passion for acting, Conway encountered industry skepticism. His unique comedic style didn't immediately resonate with casting directors and producers. Undeterred, he continued honing his craft, drawing inspiration from classic comedy legends like Bob Hope and Jack Benny. Conway's big break came when he joined the cast of The Steve Allen Show in the late 1950s. However, even then, success wasn't instantaneous. He was initially hired as a writer, but eventually made his way onto the stage demonstrating his knack for physical comedy and ad-libbing. One notable challenge Conway faced was working alongside established comedians who were hesitant to share the spotlight. To overcome this, he relied on his quick wit and ability to think on his feet, often incorporating unexpected moments into skits and performances. This approach endeared him to both audiences and fellow performers, solidifying his place in television history. Throughout his career, Tim Conway has proven himself to be a resilient force in the face of adversity, continually pushing boundaries and defying expectations. By embracing his distinct comedic voice and relying on creativity rather than convention, he surmounted significant barriers and left an indelible mark on American entertainment. Moving forward, let's delve into the life and career of actor Tim Conway. Known for his comedic roles, Conway became famous on The Carol Burnett Show often playing various characters alongside co-star Harvey Corman. Notably, Burnett once threatened to fire Corman after he was rude to both Conway and guest put Tula Clark. Clearly, maintaining respect towards colleagues mattered deeply to her. After completing college at Bowling Green State University, Conway joined the U.S. Army, serving from 1956 to 1958. Following his military service, he started acting professionally, eventually landing a significant role in McHale's Navy as Ensign Charles Parker. During interviews conducted in subsequent years, Conway expressed admiration for his co-star Ernest Borgnine, mentioning their strong camaraderie during production and beyond. Certainly, these highlights offer insightful glimpses into the personal side and professional accomplishments of Tim Conway. His impact extended further than what can be captured here. 
but it gives us a better understanding of who he was and why audiences cherished his work. In the late 1960s, Tim Conway became a household name when he joined the cast of the Emmy-winning sketch comedy show, The Carol Burnett Show. His unique comedic style, often marked by improvisation and physical comedy, quickly made him a fan favorite. According to fellow cast member Harvey Corman, Tim had this extraordinary ability to make us all crack up on set. His unpredictable humor brought a special energy to the show. One of the most memorable moments in the show's history was Conway's portrayal of the inept dentist, Mr. Tudball, and his interactions with the ditzy secretary, Mistress Wiggins, played by Vicki Lawrence. These sketches, filled with slapstick humor and hilarious misunderstandings, showcased Conway's talent for physical comedy and earned him widespread acclaim. Critic Tom Shales described Conway's performance as a textbook example of perfect comic timing and the art of the pratfall. In 1970, Conway showcased his comedic talent in the film Gomer Pyle USMC, where he played the bumbling ensign Charles Parker. His performance in the film, which was praised for its humor and charm, led to Conway's first Emmy win for outstanding continued performance by an actor in a supporting role in a comedy series. Conway's career reached new heights in the 1980s, with the success of the family-friendly television series McHale's Navy. As the lovable and mischievous character, Ensign Parker, Conway brought laughter to millions of viewers and solidified his status as a beloved comedic actor. Co-star Ernest Borgnine once said, Tim was the heart and soul of McHale's Navy. His comedic genius brought joy to everyone on set and to the audience at home. Throughout his career, Tim Conway has left an indelible mark on the world of comedy. His unique blend of humor and physical comedy has brought laughter to generations of fans and earned him numerous accolades, including six Emmy Awards. As a testament to his enduring impact, Conway's work continues to resonate with audiences today, serving as a reminder of the power of laughter and the joy it brings to our lives. After receiving his bachelor's degree in television and radio from Bowling Green State University in Bowling Green, Ohio, Tim Conway's career in comedy began to take off. A member of Phi Delta Theta fraternity, Conway's talent was discovered by comedian Rose Marie, who arranged for him to audition for the Steve Allen Plymouth show in 1956. His impressive performance led to a regular spot on the show, launching his career in television. One of Conway's most memorable roles was on The Carol Burnett Show, where he often improvised during his appearances, causing the other cast members to break character and laugh. These moments became a popular part of the series, showcasing Conway's comedic timing and ability to think on his feet. Throughout his career, Tim Conway has been known for his contributions to classic television and his ability to make audiences laugh. His talent for improvisation and knack for making his cast members laugh has left a lasting impact on the world of television and comedy. Tim Conway, the actor, was known for his unique comedic style. He approached his work with a focus on character-driven humor, often creating memorable and hilarious characters through subtle gestures and unexpected line deliveries. Conway's ability to think on his feet and improvise made him a valuable asset to any comedy ensemble. In the classic sketch comedy show The Carol Burnett Show, Conway's improvisational skills were on full display. He often made his castmates, including co-star Harvey Corman, break character and laugh with his unscripted antics. Conway's approach to comedy was spontaneous and unpredictable, which made his performances all the more entertaining. Conway's personal experiences and worldview were also reflected in his work. Growing up in a working-class family in Ohio, he drew inspiration from the everyday people and situations he encountered in his youth. This is evident in his portrayal of characters such as the bumbling janitor in the film, The Apple Dumpling Gang. Conway's sense of humor was also shaped by his experiences in the military. He served in the army for two years and often incorporated military-themed humor into his performances. His character in the film Mackell's Navy was a perfect example of this as he played a mischievous and resourceful sailor. In addition to his work in comedy, Conway also had a successful career as a voice actor. He lent his voice to many beloved animated characters, including Barnacle Boy and SpongeBob SquarePants, and the dad in the world of David the Gnome. Conway's ability to create unique and memorable characters extended beyond live-action performances and into the world of animation. Overall, Tim Conway's approach to his work was characterized by his commitment to character-driven humor, his improvisational skills, and his ability to draw inspiration from his personal experiences. His unique style and approach have left a lasting impact on the world of comedy and entertainment.
In the beloved classic, The Carol Burnett Show, actor Tim Conway was known for his hilarious characters. However, tensions arose when co-star Harvey Corman was rude to Conway and guest put Tula Clark. Showrunner Carol Burnett had to step in, threatening to fire Corman if he continued his behavior towards their guests. During the filming of a submarine sketch, Conway experienced real pain. While taping, the periscope hit him in a sensitive area, causing his face to wince in discomfort. It turned out that Conway had undergone a vasectomy the day before, making the impact even more painful. The Carol Burnett show received widespread acclaim, with Conway, Burnett, Corman, and Vicki Lawrence earning multiple Emmy nominations, and at least one win each. They were also nominated for Golden Globes, highlighting the show's impact on the entertainment industry. This iconic series remains a testament to the actor's comedic prowess and enduring legacy. Tim Conway, known for his comedic genius, had a profound impact on the entertainment industry. His work on The Carol Burnett Show brought him widespread fame and critical acclaim. According to fellow actor Vicki Lawrence, he just made you laugh all the time. Conway's unique ability to improvise and create humor on the spot became a hallmark of his career. His influence extended beyond his own performances. As a director, he mentored many young actors and comedians, shaping the next generation of talent. Jim Carrey, who worked with Conway early in his career, credits the actor with teaching him valuable lessons about comedy and timing. Conway also contributed to animation, lending his voice to popular shows like SpongeBob SquarePants and The Simpsons. His distinctive delivery and impeccable comic timing made him a favorite among animators and audiences alike. But perhaps Conway's greatest legacy lies in his approach to comedy. He believed in making people laugh through character-driven humor rather than relying on one-liners or slapstick gags. This philosophy has resonated with both fans and peers, inspiring countless performers to pursue careers in comedy. Indeed, even today, Conway's impact can be felt throughout the industry. From sketch comedy to animated series, his innovative style continues to shape the way we experience humor. And while he may no longer be active in the industry, his contributions will undoubtedly echo through its halls for years to come. Transitioning to the facts about the actor, Tim Conway. In The Carol Burnett Show, Tim Conway's improvisational skills led to unpredictable moments during tapings, causing laughter among the cast. Lyle Wagoner and Vicki Lawrence were notably hard to break, but Conway's antics often succeeded in getting Lawrence to crack a smile. In McHale's Navy, a reunion video featuring surviving cast members was included in DVD sets starting in 27, including Tim Conway. Tim Conway passed away on 5 19 Tim Conway, the beloved actor, was known for his humor and comedic timing on shows like The Carol Burnett Show. But his life wasn't all laughs and jokes. Conway was a devoted family man, married twice, and had seven children. He often spoke of the joy he found in spending time with his family, and they were a significant influence on his values. Conway's personal interests also played a role in his work. He was an avid fisherman and enjoyed spending time on the water. This love for fishing even made its way into his performances, such as in the They Style Burnett show sketch The Fishing Hole, where he played a bumbling fisherman. In addition to his love for family and fishing, Conway was also passionate about giving back to his community. He was involved in various philanthropic efforts throughout his life, including supporting children's hospitals and the American Cancer Society. Conway's personal values of compassion and generosity were reflected in his charitable work. One of Conway's most notable philanthropic efforts was his involvement with the Motion Picture and Television Fund, an organization that provides assistance and care to those in the entertainment industry. Conway served on the board of directors and was a strong advocate for the organization's mission. Conway's personal values and interests were an integral part of his life and work. His love for family, fishing, and giving back to his community were all reflected in his performances and philanthropic efforts. Through his work and charitable contributions, Tim Conway left a lasting impact on the entertainment industry and the world around him. In the beloved comedy, The Apple Dumpling Gang, Tim Conway brought the character of Amos Tucker to life. Later, he shared the screen with Don Knotts in films like Cannonball Run 2 and The Private Eyes. These two actors had a knack for creating memorable moments in their performances together. Tim Conway, the beloved actor, left an indelible mark on the industry with his unforgettable comedic performances. His work in shows like The Carol Burnett Show and films like The Apple Dumpling Gang brought joy to millions. Conway's ability to bring humor to any situation without relying on crude jokes or innuendos sets him apart. 
His characters were endearing, relatable, and, above all, hilarious. His impact on comedy is still felt today, with many comedians citing him as an inspiration. For aspiring professionals in the field, Conway's advice would be to stay true to yourself and your craft. Don't try to be someone else or follow trends. Find what makes you unique and embrace it. And, most importantly, always strive to make people laugh. As for the future, Conway's legacy will continue to inspire new generations of comedians and actors. His work will remain a classic example of the power of humor and the joy it can bring to people's lives. In terms of contributions, the actor's body of work stands as a testament to the power of comedy and the importance of staying true to yourself. His ability to bring laughter to people of all ages and backgrounds is a rare gift that will continue to be celebrated for years to come. Tim Conway, known as the best second banana in the business, had a knack for making audiences laugh. His comedic talent was particularly evident on The Carol Burnett Show, where he often left fellow actors, especially Harvey Corman, struggling to maintain their composure. Rather than cutting these unscripted moments, the producers frequently included them in the final broadcast, much to viewers' delight. Conway held actor Ernest Borgnine in high regard, citing him as both a cherished mentor and close friend. Their bond formed during the making of the film The Best Little Whorehouse in Texas. Despite coming from different backgrounds, Borgnine being a seasoned dramatic actor and Conway a renowned comic, they found common ground and mutual respect in their shared passion for acting. Throughout his career, Tim Conway brought joy to countless people, demonstrating that humor can bring us together and create lasting memories. His ability to make others laugh, even in unexpected situations, remains one of his most endearing qualities. Tim Conway, the actor, began his journey in the entertainment industry in the 1960s. He first gained recognition for his role in the popular comedy series McHale's Navy. However, it was his work on The Carol Burnett Show that solidified his place as a legendary comedic talent. With his unique humor and innovative skits, he brought joy to millions of viewers. Throughout his career, Conway showed an uncanny ability to breathe life into even the smallest roles. His performances were always memorable, making him a favorite among audiences and critics alike. He pushed boundaries and took risks, constantly finding new ways to make people laugh. One of Conway's most notable contributions to television is the iconic character Mr. Tudball. This bumbling boss, complete with a thick European accent and bad combover, became a staple of American pop culture thanks to Conway's impeccable delivery and physicality. Conway also proved himself as a skilled film actor, appearing in classics like The Apple Dumpling Gang and Going South. Despite working in various genres, he never lost sight of his true passion, making people smile. As we reflect on Tim Conway's remarkable career, one thing stands out above all else is unwavering dedication to creativity and laughter. Through countless projects, he demonstrated time, and again the immense power of imagination and persistence. In the face of adversity, he continued to innovate and inspire, leaving behind a legacy that will resonate for generations. Indeed, Conway's story serves as a testament to the transformative nature of art and its capacity to bring us together. By embracing our passions and pushing past obstacles, we too can create something truly special, just like this beloved actor did throughout his illustrious career. Let's take a moment to remember the actor, Tim Conway, known for his impeccable comedic timing and unforgettable characters, he brought joy to many through his work in film and television. One of his most iconic roles was as Ensign Parker in the classic sitcom at Kale's Navy. His character's humorous antics and interactions with the other cast members created memorable moments that still resonate today. Later, he became a household name as a regular on The Carol Burnett Show, where he showcased his comedic genius in various sketches. From the oldest man to Mr. Tudball, his characters left audiences in stitches. The actor also lent his voice to various animated projects, including SpongeBob SquarePants and the world of Mr. Sloan. His distinctive voice added depth and humor to these beloved characters. Tim Conway's work has left an indelible mark on the entertainment industry. His ability to bring laughter and joy to so many is a true testament to his talent. Now, we invite you to share your thoughts on Tim Conway's work and legacy in the comments below. Let's celebrate this classic actor and the impact he had on entertainment. Be sure to like and share this post with others who appreciate Tim Conway's contributions to the world of comedy. And don't forget to subscribe for more content celebrating the creative spirits shaping entertainment.